hello friends i hope in the last lecture whatever we have discussed regarding that how the calculation of bill buying rate has to be done you must have revised and today we will take up the numerical aspect and we will try to see and try to understand that how the rate of foreign currency has to be calculated with respect to foreign bill this is the problem just try to read it and then try to solve also i read for you this is the first problem so i will make an effort to do it on 26 august a customer present to the bank a site document see you have to catch the words site that means it is a site bill that means it is not the case of tt it is a case of a bill for usd 2, 2 lakh under an irrevocable lc letter of credit letter of credit provide the reimbursement by the negotiating bank on demand draft on the opening of the new york that is not to be considered the main concept is a customer is present to the bank a side bill for usd 2 lakh that means customer is trying to sell a bill a side bill having the value 2 lakh as the usd and customer want to know that what is the rupee amount that will be paid by the bank against 2 lakh usd and also the current rates in the inter local interbank market are also available the spot rate spot rate means 25th august the rate is given 25th august rate is given and they have not given the rate of 30th august that means the 25th august rate has to be considered as the month end rate also then september rate is given october is given november is given transit period it is written as 25 days if this line was not written then also we would have considered 25 days because already the problem says it is a site document so wherever you see the site document or any other type of demand document automatically there will be loading of 25 days to be considered as a transit period what rate will the bank quote to its customer to provide an exchange margin of 0.15% and also calculate the amount in rupee payable to the bank simple problem that we can say you can again i can do by this only you have to draw another page in your register but i can do here itself with the effort which i took you just now home layout let me reduce the gap right no a problem 25th august the rate is given as it is a buying case that means we have to take the rate as 65.6625 so i give the rate as that is given as 65.6625 theek hai right then we have to find out that whether the case is of forward premium or discount 6000 to 5700 it is reducing 1 dollar to 0.97 that means it is reducing it is not increasing it is at discount that means this concept will not be applicable this concept will not be applicable in this case discount will be there usage and transit period 
usen period is not given so why to consider usen period transit period will be rounded up to higher month that you can write now let us see 25th august the fresh date will be 25 days from 25th august that makes uh, 5th september 20th september i suppose 20 20th or 21st also that you can say because the better if you say as 20th september because august is of 31 days so if we count 25 days from 25th august it will lie somewhere as 19th august or 20th august it hardly matters whatever you write better you write because we have to leave the date of 25th then 26 27 28 29 30 that is five six days of august and 19 days of september that means the due date you have to write here before solving this thing some narration is also required the case is of the case is of bill bind having 25 days as transit period the rates available in the local interbank market are at discount therefore therefore transit period will be rounded off to higher month this you have to write so what will be the higher month therefore the due date will be 19th september 19 september so it has to be rounded off so it will be rounded off for the month of for the month of september rates that means higher month will be september itself so you can say transit of the higher month here you can write in this place uh, it will be forward discount for the month of so it becomes clear september month is given is this 6000 i copy this discount has to be deducted this now the difference amount what will be the difference amount that we can say that is we can say as mm, rupees 65 point uh, 0525 we minus 6000 now we have to calculate the exchange margin exchange margin which is available 
at 0.15 percent so we calculate that what will be the exchange margin simple as i told you that is we are left with 65.0525 into point how much 15 percent it is coming as it it is coming as 0.0975 you adjust this thing that means we adjust 65.0525 minus exchange margin is 0.0975 and we are getting at 64.955 64.955 is zero that we can say in this case the rounding off is not required because you see that 50 is itself rounded off so there is no need for rounding off the bill buying rate is this so we can say the bank the bank will quote quote usd 1 is equal to rupees 64.955 and what the bank will pay the rupee amount payable by the bank against usd 2 lakh will be rupees how much we can say as 2 lakh multiplied by 64.955 it is coming as 12 lakh 90 it is coming as 1 crore 1 crore 29 lakh 91000 this will be the rupee amount payable by the bank against usd 2 lakh the bank will purchase usd 2 lakh and against the 2 lakh the customer will get rupees 1 crore 29 lakh 91000 from the bank i hope this is clear to everybody there is no doubt i think so so thank you everybody for patiently listening about the calculation of bill buying rate one numerical we have taken up and very soon in the next video we will try to take up more practical aspect just for the understanding that how more complicated bill buying rate has to be calculated thank you